After tornadoes ripped through Arkansas, headlines were saying a truck was picked up and carried 27 miles. A lot of scientists kept saying the story is completely implausible, and they're right. The truck owner simply forgot where he parked, which is understandable considering a storm just picked up and threw his truck. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Jones, and this is Debunked, where we expose fake viral stories every week. The opening of the movie Fargo says it's a true story. Now Fargo, the new TV show on FX, is saying it's a true story too. So what are we thinking here? Who's right? Well, according to an article in The Telegraph, as well as Snopes, and the fact that the Coen brothers admitted to the New York Times they made the movie up, Neither is. At best, the events of the TV show and movie could be traced loosely to a few incidents in Connecticut and Japan. That Marge Gunderson is full of it, don't you know? Sir, you have no call to get snippy with me. I'm just doing my job here. Sorry, Margie. Great movie, though. Oh, okay. Italy, don't. Oh my god. Yeah. You've probably seen that crazy old vine, but did you hear that throw killed her? Relax. I wouldn't be that excited about a death. She's alive. The rumor goes back to the satire site Hustlers that says Miranda Lockwood died from the blow to the head. We know it's not true because Hustlers is also running stories that say George Zimmerman is getting a Lifetime Achievement Award from the NAACP and 59 people have died from weed overdoses since it was made legal in Colorado. If that's not enough, the original Vine uploader, Josh Officer, posted a new Vine clearing up the death rumors. Before these rumors get out of control, Miranda is not dead. Good for her. Seems like she's got some vengeance to seek. It don't matter, stupid bitch! You better quit hitting me in my face, bitch. That's the point, it's a fight! It's hard to believe the events of that vine were based on real life. This is Debunked. Check back every Friday for new episodes.